It's a thrifty Thursday. One man's trash can be another man's treasure. Amy Roberry with Renew and Redo Vintage Market is here to share how she is giving old furniture and decor a second life. Hi. Hi. I love this topic. We're starting with some of those old box signs that everybody has probably laying around in their house right now, but instead of tossing them out, you are repurposing. Yes, these box signs used to be so popular and now nobody wants them. <laughs> so I came up with a way that you could repurpose them and make them something that you can use your own again. I wanna know the transformation. Yeah. So let's get started. What would you say and suggest? So my first suggestion is make sure your box sign has a back. Mm. Some oh. of them are open. Yeah, some it's of them are easier. Open. It's easier okay. if you have a back. If you don't, you can still do this, but okay. that does make it really easy. And then um, get a great paint. You need some glue and you'll need some feet because we're going to turn these into decorative risers. I have oh, a few examples. No way. Isn't that great? <gasps> Wait so, a minute. I didn't even realize that yeah. had this become. This was an old sign? <clears throat> That is an old box sign. Oh. And this one too? Yes, this okay, one too. Okay, you have little jewels for legs on that yes. one. Yes. I love it. So you can be really creative with this and put any type of foot on the, on the riser that you want. Um, you can get pieces already ready for you at craft stores that you would just paint and, and apply with glue. Um, or I have a couple examples like you pointed out. These are knobs for drawers. Oh, they that are. you just glue onto the bottom. That is so clever. Or you might have something a little specific that you love. These are vintage spools from Thread. No way. And I just put those on the bottom of this little bit more chippy, rustic one. So I did different styles because like I said, you can totally customize this to your home and your decor style. Wait, how did you make the design of the flowers on that platform? Let's right there. show you that. So the design on the top of this one I used a stencil. Oh, that is so okay. pretty. And some pearl paint. Can we see that? So that you can. There's like, the roses. Yeah, it's a little uh -huh. bit more glam. Uh -huh. So if you like glam, you can do um, some metallics and do these cute little crystal knobs. Well, the options are endless. How did you even think of this? It's so creative. You know, it just was something that I kept seeing these at the thrift store. There are so many. And you're, you're, everyone's getting rid of it. Your brain was going on <laughs> yeah. full speed, like, what can I do with this? Yes, because that's what I love to do is repurpose and refresh things. Okay, so I thought, let's refresh okay, let's and repurpose this. this. Uh -huh. And we're seeing some of the images of the, your market. Those are the three, yes. And those are the three signs that I've shown you that I've turned into risers already. What can we find at the market? At my shop, you can find vintage, lots and lots of vintage items. You can find repurposed, you can find handmade items, and then I also sell an amazing furniture and cabinet paint that I use for all of these projects too. So Amy, are you gonna demo? Yes, I can totally show yeah. you. So what do we do, what's the first step of doing this? We have so, all of our equipment. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. First thing I would recommend is to clean it, which we have in this paint line that I carry in my shop. We have this great cleaner that you, it makes it so you don't have to sand or anything, even oh. furniture and cabinets. Excellent. So it just cleans any residues right off of that. What is it called? It's called the Prep. It's made by a company called Rethunk Junk. Rethunk Junk, mm -hmm. okay. And then after you've prepped, you're good to go ahead and paint. And this is, like I said, even on furniture and cabinets, this is the same process. Mm -hmm. So it's super simple. And that dried quickly too, so you're already ready to put on the paint. Yeah, it's super quick, so which Amy, is the best. So what Amy, what's your vision right now for this little platform? So this one, I forgot to bring the feet that I was um, going to show you for this, but I thought this could be a little bit modern, a little more sleek, and so I had some gold knobs oh. that I thought would be great Pretty. on the bottom of this black riser. With black. Oh, mm -hmm. that's totally up my alley. I yep. would love. So once that's completed, mm -hmm. would you add a design or what would you do on the top of that or you, just leave it sleek? You could do whatever you, you would like. If you want to put a little design, even just one little strip of a design with some maybe gold metallic to kind of tie in the feet, you could do that. Or you could just leave it black and have those gold feet on the bottom. And that's the glue you use for the feet? This is the glue. This is very strong, wonderful for crafts. And Crafty you would just, people know that glue. <laughs> They like swear it's by that. Yes, yeah. And you would just put the glue right on, stick your feet on, and it dries really quickly and it's nice and strong. And Amy, where do you put these platforms or where would you recommend? 
So you can just add them to maybe your entryway table, um, a vanity in the bathroom, something that you just want to have a little bit of a height um, difference in your decor. Just, it just gives interest to it. It's interesting, you're right. It is so pretty, I love the yeah. idea. Okay, if you hop in on Amy's shop in American Fork, pop in and say hi, go shopping 15% off when you mention this segment. Yes. I love it, and you're we, on Facebook and TikTok. Yes, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. We try to do all of those things. This is a great idea, I'm I doing know. this. I like it. And if you don't want to do this at home, we actually have a class coming up that you can come in and make risers and we'll have all the supplies for you. Oh, awesome. We'll post the dates and how to get there and sign up for that on our website.